at and tried to control herself, he didn't look like he deserved a beating, so she forgave him once, however, the guy was still being provocative, seeing Clara's clenched fists, he thought she wanted to play a game of rock paper scissors with him, uncle, you're done, you won't be able to play any games for the rest of your life. Two of the guy's lackeys rushed up to attack Clara when they saw their boss knocked down, however, their arrogance quickly turned into painful screams as the ground cracked beneath them, Clara raised her hand, and the gangsters were sent flying. As the last one turned around to face Clara, he was instantly confused by the scene before him, Clara was about to hit him. But she realized she had lost control of her strength and quickly apologized, she kindly helped the guy fix his dislocated fingers. Another guy tried to sneak attack Clara, but she grabbed his belt and threw him into the sky. She helped the gangster who was crying in pain, but he picked up a stick and tried to resist. Clara used a move from Dragon Ball and the guy was launched into the air and flew towards his boss, who had just gotten up. They probably won't be able to eat without using a straw from now on. Wesley witnessed the whole incident and thought to himself, My goodness, is this girl a new hero from DC? Although she was fighting for justice, she had caused serious injuries to the other side. As a result, everyone at the scene was brought to the police station for questioning. Gavin, the handsome police officer, was serious and only focused on the details of the case. But the case file was a bit ridiculous, with leaks in the wind, finger separation techniques, and crows flying on airplanes. It was clearly a martial arts novel. Clara was embarrassed and hung her head, wondering how to handle the situation. She was afraid that if things continued to develop this way, she would become the Korean version of Wonder Woman. Just then, Wesley walked in. As a witness, he testified that Clara was innocent, and she was released. However, his real motive was to hire Clara as a bodyguard because he was impressed with her skills. The next day, Wesley arranged for his secretary to discuss the details of their cooperation with Clara. At first, Clara was offended when she heard that she was being asked to work as a bodyguard. But when she heard the monthly salary of 60 million Korean won, she suddenly realized that being a bodyguard might not be such a bad profession. Worried that Wesley might change his mind, she went to sign up on the same day. However, Wesley gave her a challenge. He said that since her salary was so high, as a new bodyguard, she had to demonstrate her abilities to him. So, he suggested they simply arm wrestle. Hi.